let's jump into the app here. Pro 2, that's what it is. All right, so the first thing you're going to see when you, when you log in is just getting started and printing choices for now. Um, the first thing you'll do when you open the application is you have to configure it. I went ahead and did that ahead of time because I knew we were going to be pushed on time here. But to configure it, you set up stakeholders. Stakeholders are people who are going to attend the meetings that you plan and execute through the tool. Next thing, you can do it by either adding them directly from the address book or manually. <coughs> back out of this. The second thing you have to configure are projects. Projects have a name, leader, start date, etc., and different information. That's custom logos here. So after you get your stakeholders in your projects, and you want to add your stakeholders to your projects, so when you plan meetings, you can actually invite your stakeholders to the meetings. And the other thing that you can configure is some integration where we integrate with Google Docs, with Dropbox, with Evernote, um, so that you can push out the meeting summary reports once you're done with your meetings. You can also configure a custom logo to brand of your organization. Let's go ahead and jump into planning a meeting. So you come to your meeting planning screen, and you'll do this before the meeting actually happens because within the app will let you distribute the agenda and any read-ahead documents ahead of time as well. So let's plan a meeting here. We'll just call this tent. Let's give it a location, <coughs> GM for George Mason. Let's give it a project. We'll make this part of our meeting result marketing. The objectives, let's add them here. Tent, so you can add as many as you want. You can reorder them. Um, you have to add at least one. Uh, agenda items, same thing. We'll add a test one. We'll give up the presenter's name and a time limit. And we're going to actually track the time limit, so that becomes important later on because we want to do metrics on how long we've actually you know, spent on an agenda item, give them some sort of warning that they've gone over time. Once we're done, we can add more if we want to, but for now, since we're pushed on time, let's do that. Uh, let's choose our attendees. Let's invite a few more people to this meeting. The project leader already met, automatically gets, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, person doing this automatically gets added to it. Let's give it a start time. Tonight at 9, and duration, about an hour. So now we'll save that. Uh, before we save it, we could actually go ahead and send this out so we can distribute it. We can put some comments in here. We can add documents from Google Docs for Dropbox. Um, you'll see my Dropbox going here in a second. There you go. You can add any documents you want to. And once you're done, you can send this out via email. It'll pull up an email with the agenda on here, formatted. And then we'll also put an ICS calendar in there so you can add to your calendar when you get it. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Delete that graph. Cancel. I'm going to go ahead and go into, let's save this meeting. All right, now let's go into meeting execution. We'll see our meeting show up here. You open it. At, top, at the top of there, there's a calendar. Uh, this calendar is actually counting down to the end of the meeting. You can also toggle to the elapsed time to see how long you've actually spent. You've got to click the play button to start the elapsed timer. Um, you can go back and edit the meeting logistics if you want to here. I mean, you can distribute an agenda or edit the meeting logistics here if you need to. Uh, you can take attendance by checking people off. Um, you can complete objective items and agenda items as you complete them. We're going to keep track of the time you spend on each. Um, and here's the actual real meat of the application to really capture the assets that are created. We, we have the term meeting assets to refer to the notes, the action items, the decisions, the issues, and risks. Once you're done, you can pick the meeting like this. You can go back to the project. Uh, let's go into here. Let's go to the project that I've already completed one for. And you can click on the view summary report. And you can distribute it via email or upload 